Hi guys, it's Bella Gemma Nails, and today I'm going to be showing you how to decorate this already decorative bag. This is a box bag, and it is a beauty. It is very well made. I love the gold accents. My obsession with green totally continues, and I'm going to be embellishing the front of this bag. The only thing I don't like about this bag, which I bought on Amazon for $18, is the gold foil here. These are metal accents. I love the closure here. It works very well. And it has all the rivets here on the back. And it is very nicely assembled, but the foil I have a bit of a problem with. So what I'm going to do for this project is create a junkyard style purse and I usually use rhinestones or crystals to embellish but this time I'm going to be using studs. So if you want to learn how to make this just keep on watching. So it'll go from this to this. Okay guys so this is just some of the junkyard jewelry that I'm going to be using for this project and it's basically a mixture of metals and then I'm going to be using these uh, studs and this is going to be the main look of the bag and I have antique gold and then I have a metallic gold there that I'll be alternating and then I also have a smaller size uh, stud here that I'll also be incorporating and I'm going to be using various charms here and they're all different color metals and you're going to see what I'm going to be creating with all of this junk jewelry. Get your E6000 ready and your mask and make sure to work in a ventilated area. This glue is highly toxic. Okay guys, so I have already laid out the design and taken a picture. This helps me map it out and follow the map there. I suggest you doing that yourself. So I've already laid everything out without the glue and I'm going to be gluing them now. And it is extra work, it is an extra step, but it's very well worth it simply because you don't wanna get lost once you've laid the glue out. So I've been wanting to create an army color bag. My dad is a veteran of the Air Force, but I love camo and I love anything army. So this is my idea of an army bag, if you will. I've been obsessed with box bags since my Cinderella bag. If you haven't seen the video, I'll post the link below for you. Don't push them down until the adhesive sets a bit, otherwise they'll ship too much. I'll post all the links below to these items. I did purchase them in downtown LA at Bead Factory. I don't know if they have these online, but I will post their website as well as their address. So guys, these studs are not made of metal. They're made out of plastic and they're covered in an antique finish and an antique gold. You know how we say that bag design is like a puzzle? And you can see here, it pretty much is. It's just basically putting piece by piece together so that everything in the end looks like it was meant to be there. Now that is perfectly symmetrical. So guys, I align the stones in the same manner. So you could see that they have perforations underneath because you could sew them onto clothing. So I'm lining them right side up. And so that's how I do the entire bag, all in the same order. Okay guys, I'm going to be mixing metals again and adding a silver boom box there because this bag reminds me of a boom box. So I am going to be adding one to the strap here. Okay guys, so now I'm going to start with the 3D layering effect with the other junkyard embellishments and I determine placement just by kind of looking at the charms and this one here looks to me I see owl eyes so I'm going to be placing this down here somewhere and I'm going to be placing eyeballs and then that just looks like owl eyes to me and I'm going to be placing that on the bag. So this is going to be a dangling chain. 
I've always incorporated chains in my designs, even my nail designs. I've been putting chains in my nail designs for over a decade. So I like incorporating them in handbags as well. Okay, so I'm placing these at an angle so that the bag could still sit upright. And if I had placed them pointing downward, obviously that would not be able to happen. So if you're going to do this project with any kind of items, just make sure that you don't interfere with the bag sitting upright. Okay guys, now that you have placed all the embellishments, just let dry. Okay guys, I added the soft yellow rhinestones to the rings right on there just to make it look finished. And what I also did was I added the shield to the back of this flap where the radio is just to kind of tie it all in. It looks very nice. It ties in the silver with the gold and it just looks beautiful up top. It did come with the bag of junkyard jewelry, which I bought at Bead Factory. Some of the items I already had in my collection, part of my junkyard collection, and it just tied everything in very beautifully. And you could see how much movement there is, and you all know I'm obsessed with chain. So there's a bunch of chain dangles all throughout the bag, and I really, truly love the way that it turned out. And I also hope that you loved it as well. Now this bag comes with a cross body strap that matches the same color as the bag but as you already know I absolutely love chain and so I added that myself so if you like this project please make sure that you give it a big thumbs up or pop a comment below thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time bye